Hey guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I post videos every single Thursday giving you guys the best tips and tools for being more effective in your practice sessions and helping you achieve your musical goals. So if you're new, consider subscribing. I'm starting a new series on this channel similar to my practice vlogs, but documenting my journey learning jazz. Learning jazz has always been something that I've wanted to do, but I have almost zero experience and apart from one class that I took last year at the conservatory, I didn't know where to start. There are so many classical musicians who are in the same boat, so what I wanted to do with this series is hopefully be of use to you and guide you through your journeys learning jazz. I'll be sharing my thought processes and the concepts I learned to get started. I've been using this book, The Jazz Piano Book by Mark Levine, which is a gold standard for jazz beginners, and what I did is opened it up to page one and just started learning. This is one week into learning jazz. Let's jump straight into the video so I can show you guys what happened. Whoa. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, hi. Hey guys, I'm filming this before I should be filming it, um, but I don't care because I'm so excited about this video. I didn't even grab the book. Um, I'm gonna be... So for today's video, I'm gonna be learning to improvise jazz. I don't think there's anything left to say. So bye guys, and see you on the other side. Timer on 30 minutes. Okay, so minor second, yes, I know that. Major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone or augmented fourth or diminished fifth, perfect fifth. Now this is an augmented fifth or a minor sixth, so that's new. I never actually called it an augmented fifth before. Major sixth, minor seventh or augmented sixth, that's interesting. Seventh, yes, octave, okay. Descending minor third. Oh, that's kind of sad. So I'm learning so far that if they add a sixth or a ninth, they don't write it. Okay, you know what? We're going over time. The acronym that I use to remember my modes is I don't particularly like modes a lot. They confuse the heck out of me. 251 is the most common poor chord progression in jazz. I struggle with voicings a lot, so this is gonna be useful. Thank you. 
There's a 251 right there. 251. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want more jazz videos. I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.